Good morning. I'm so glad you're here today. Good morning. Good morning, my beautiful little friends. Good morning. Good morning, my smart little friends. Hi. So today we are going to talk about shapes. Do you know what a shape is? Can you raise your hand? Awesome. Well, can you tell me something that you know about a shape? I'll give you just a minute. Wow, you guys are already so smart. I'm so proud of you. Today, we're gonna to go a little bit further about shapes. So what exactly is a shape? I'm sure some of you can name some shapes, but what is a shape? So a shape is something that has, it's the boundary around something. So if we were to look at my face, the, the boundary or the outline around my face, could we could de decide it was a circle or an oval, depending on my face shape. So we're looking at the outside of um, my face to determine its shape, right? Um, so there are a lot of different shapes and they all have special names, just like my name is Miss G and your name is right. So just like we have names and your mommy and daddy has a name and your brothers and sisters have a name, shapes have a name. And the way we determine what shape it is, is by looking at their attributes. So for shapes, we look at their lines and we look at their corners to determine what their name is and if they're even a shape or if they've even been given a formal name. Some of them are just shapes and some of them have actual names where people have named them. So in this particular lesson, we're gonna focus on these shapes right here. And I'm sure a lot of you already know what these shapes are, or you may know one of them or two of them or all of them, which is great. But let's talk about why we define those shapes um, the way we do and why they have that name. So um, the first shape we're gonna talk about is, do you know what it is? Yeah, the square. So what can you tell me about the square? It has four sides. So let's check that, right? So one, two, three, four. Now, what do you notice about those sides? What is, what is distinctive? What is special about those sides? Does anybody know? Can anybody tell me? Hmm, I heard some really, really great ideas. So, the, the thing that makes a square special is all of its sides are the exact same. This side is the same length as this side, which is the same as this side, which is the same as this side, which gives us a perfectly shaped square. Another way we define, um, another way we find attributes to the square is we look for the corners or mathematicians like to say vertices. Can you say that? Vertice, vertice. Vertices are the corners of the angles that the lines make when they come together, the corners. So we have one corner or one vertice, we have two corners or two vertices because we're mathematicians. We have three corners or three vertices. We have four corners or four vertices. Yeah, so we have four sides that are the same size and we have four corners that are the same. So another shape that we're gonna talk about today is, can anybody tell me what that is? Yeah. Wow, you guys are so smart. It is a rectangle. So let's talk about what attributes the rectangle has. Can anybody tell me? 
Yeah. Wow, great ideas, guys. So, a rectangle, its attributes are that it has four sides, but not only does it have four sides, it has two sides that are the same length going parallel, and we have two more sides going perpendicular, that means up and down. Um, two lines going up and down that are also the same length. So, um, how is it different from the square? What's different? Mmm, yes. So all four sides are not equal for the rectangle. Two of the lines going across or parallel are equal, and the two lines going perpendicular are equal, or up and down. The two lines going up and down are equal but all four sides are not the same length. Whereas for a square, it is. That's why the square has its name. A square is a square because all four sides are equal and they have um, four corners. A rectangle, a rectangle's name is a rectangle because it has four sides and um, two are parallel. Two, two that are parallel are equal, and two that are perpendicular are equal. Now, later in math, we'll learn a little bit more about the rectangle. It's a little special, but let's keep going for today. All right, let's talk about this shape next. What attributes do you see that this shape has? Does it have any corners? Does it have any sides? Hmm. Hmm, so what can we say about the circle? Oh, oh I gave it away. <laughs> I'm so silly. I'm sure you guys already knew the name. So this is a circle. It is a perfectly round shape that has no sides and no corners. So that's why the circle is named the circle because it has no sides and no angles or no vertices or no corners, however you want to say it, because we're mathematicians and we know lots of different vocabulary words for math, don't we? Um, so we are um, going to call that the circle, right? Okay, next. Does anybody know what this shape is? It's a little... Tricky. Does anybody know? Wow, those are some great guesses. So let's first look at our attributes in order to name this shape. So, sides. How many sides does this shape have? One, two, three, four, five, six. It has six sides and all six sides are equal. They are all the exact same length. So it has six sides and they're all the exact same length. Let's look at our corners or our vertices or our angles, whatever mathematical word you would like to use. All right, so we have one angle, two angle or vertice, three angles or vertices or corners, five corners or angles or vertices, six corners or vertices or angles. So let's count one more time because I might have miscounted because I was too busy going over the vocabulary. So I'm going to double check my work. Can you help me double check my work? Okay. I'm going to start here and I'm going to go around. I'm going to keep my finger here at my starting point so I can remember where I started because sometimes I lose my spot. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we have six corners. Or what's another word for corners? Oh, there's my mathematician's vertices. What's another word for vertice? Oh, whoa, kiss your brain, you're so smart. Mwah. Great job. Or angles, so vertices, corners, or angles. All right, so we have six of those. So we have six 
corners or vertices and we have six sides and that makes up this shape and when it has six equal sides and six corners or vertices um it's called a hexagon a hexagon can you say hexagon that's a big word hexagon now there are a lot of shapes that look like this one a lot but they have different amount of sides and different amount of angles so we're gonna learn more of those this year and in future videos but right now we're gonna learn just to just define this one as a hexagon and don't worry we're gonna go over this lots and we're gonna have lots of time to learn what it is and then we can look at other shapes that look similar now sometimes it's a little confusing because what is different about this circle and this hexagon because they're kind of the same shape right I mean they're kind of the same just kind of so what's different what can you tell me that's different mm. Mm. wow you guys are so smart yeah okay the difference is this goes all the way around without any angles and without creating any sides. Hmm. This goes around, but it goes around by creating lines with angles or vertices to create the shape. That's the difference. And we have one more shape. So the last shape, What's its name? A triangle. A triangle. So a triangle has three sides. Let's count. One, two, three. A triangle has three sides. It also has three, good job, three corners or vertices. One, two, three. So a triangle always has three angles or vertices and three sides. Now I know we just learned so much, but the number one thing I want you to understand is that we figure out shapes by their attributes and their attributes are looking at their sides. How many sides did it take to make that shape and how many angles or how many vertices? Or corners did it take to create that shape and one more little thing when you're creating a shape for example the square it has to be a perfectly straight line to be a square it has to be a perfectly straight line to create a triangle it can't be wiggly if it's wiggly it's a shape but it's not a triangle does that make sense don't worry we will cover this a lot so Let's have a little fun. I want you to see if you can look around the room. See if you can find a circle. Do you see any circles in your room? Can you point to it? Yeah, tell me what you see. Wow, yeah. Great job. Okay, now, if you didn't see a circle, let's see if we can make one. Can you make a circle with your fingers? <gasps> yeah, so if you didn't have any circles in your room, there's a circle. Great, okay, next. Do you see any squares in your room? Take a look around. Did you see any? What did you see? Yeah? Oh. Yeah, that is one. Good job. Okay, well, just in case you didn't have any in your room, can you try to make one with your fingers? Can you do that? Let's see. It's a little hard because it's hard to make straight lines with your fingers, but we're going to try our best, okay? Because you guys are smart. I think you can do it. All right. Hmm. So we need straight lines. Well, hmm. It's really hard to make a square with your fingers, but you guys gave it a good try. Thumbs up. Okay, next. Let's see. Hmm, can you find a, re um, a rectangle? Is that a rectangle? What is it? <gasps> Yay! It is a triangle. Triangle. Yeah. Can you find triangles around your room? Yeah. 
triangles are sometimes really hard to find because not a lot of things are made into triangles. But one of my favorite triangles is pizza. I love pizza. And pizzas are usually cut into the shape of a triangle. Okay, so what did you guys see in your room? Did you find any? Yeah? Oh, wow, yeah, good job. Okay, if you didn't have any in your room, that's okay. So let's see if we can create one with our fingers. Oh, yeah, it's hard because our fingers don't make straight lines, but that looks like a triangle. You could even go around outside with your little triangle inspector and see if you can find any through your little triangle looking glass. Yeah, okay, next, let's find rectangles, yeah. Okay, go look. What did you see? So all of you have to be looking at a TV or a computer of some sort to be watching this video. So what is the TV or the computer screen or the tablet? What shape is that? Yeah, it's a rectangle. Yeah. Great job, guys. What else did you see? Yeah. A table. Yeah. Great job. Okay, if you didn't have any rectangles, then let's try to make one with our hands. Whoop, there's my rectangle. We could go outside with our little rectangle inspector and look for rectangles, couldn't we? Yeah. Okay, we have one more shape to make, and this one's hard. Um, so, well, we're gonna find it first, then we'll try to make it with our fingers. So, what shape is this one? Hexagon, a hexagon. Can you find any hexagons in your space? Go look, go see. Okay, what did you find? Yeah. Wow, that's, yeah, that is, yeah. How did you know it was a hexagon? Because there's lots of different shapes that look like this. How did you figure out it was a hexagon? Oh, mm, yes, you had to count the sides, didn't you? You had to count one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Mm -hmm. All right, if you didn't find one in your space, we'll try to make one with our hands, but it's a little hard. Okay, it's a little, eh. it looks a little bit like a hexagon. So, I really enjoyed learning about shapes with you. And this is the beginning introduction to shapes. As we go on, we will continue to review these and talk about them more in depth, and we will learn new shape names. Now, I want you to go see if you can find shapes. All right, thanks for joining me today. Toodaloo!